Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Wednesday the 16th of June. Starting off with Great Western Mining where there's been a nice little breakout here after many months of consolidation, i.e. between I suppose 0 0.25, 0 0.3, that sort of thing. But we've broken this line of resistance from uh, back in January around 0.26 and uh, the longer we stay above that, the greater the chance of an eventual move over the next couple of months, maybe uh, as soon as the end of next month up towards 0.5 pence, assuming this is a proper log jam break for the shares, obviously back below uh, the 2.023, etc., where the 200 day moving averages would obviously delay the upside or potential upside scenario. Stock which has been requested, which I've sort of given up on interviewing the CEO, but uh, the chart still remains uh, an active one. Uh, rising trend channel from Landor Resources. Uh, that's been in place from uh, basically this time last year. And a nice little break above the rising 50-day moving average at 33 pence. Good consolidation around 31, 32 pence of late. And uh, a decent weekly close uh, towards 35 pence uh, this week should uh, open up the prospect of a 50 to 55 pence target here for the shares as soon as the end of next month. Maybe a little bit longer than that, but uh, end of July may be worth uh, targeting as a time frame. Uh, stock which is uh, rather more obscure, let's say, but um, is uh, revving up quite nicely is Mercantile Ports. Uh, here we've had a spike through the 50-day uh, moving, well, I suppose the 50 and the 20-day moving averages, uh, the 50-day line 0.61. Uh, I suppose the level to break here is 0.7, which has been post-April resistance. End of day or weekly close above that, and we could be looking at the top of a rising tr uh, or a broadening triangle there from February as high as 1.1 to 1.2 pence as soon as the end of August. But uh, the key really is to break 0.7 uh, for the shares and only back below around the 0.5 pence level really delaying or cancelling the upside or recovery argument for mercantile ports. Back to Ancondesi Energy, which is a stock which I sometimes uh, have a look at. And uh, here, looking interesting in the sense that there's been uh, effectively a, a bear trap from below uh, the old October floor there. That was around uh, the 2.8 pence level. And uh, we had lows uh, last month around 2.7, so now a bear trap. Just breaking that line of resistance from January, which is looking encouraging, 3.1 pence and uh, end of day or a weekly close above that. And we could be looking towards a retest of April resistance and the 200 day line around 4.2 pence by the end of next month. Uh, another stock which has been uh, rather difficult of late, but uh, maybe ready to be um, revived is uh, Nostra Terra. Uh, here we got a break of um, the 200-day, well, the 50 and the 200-day moving averages and that line of resistance from February at 0.46. Uh, above that, on a weekly close basis, looking towards uh, the last major resistance on the way down at 0.65, perhaps as soon as the end of next month. Big figure target here seems rather ambitious, maybe too ambitious, is up to a, a penny, uh, which is the top of that broadening uh, January uh, triangle, but uh, at least at this uh, stage, 0 0.6, 0 0.65. Um, over the next few weeks doesn't seem to be pushing it too much and uh, the upside value while we hold above 0.4 I think is a reasonable place for a notional technical stop loss. On to Physiomics uh, which is a um, stock which has periodically had its day. Another trend line break here this time it's from uh, December and also breaking through the six and a half pence level of the 50 day line above six and a half looking towards the top of the range at 10 pence by the end of next month for Physiomics if you have one of these periodic spikes that the shares can deliver hopefully uh, two to three days and we'll get a decent uh, push to the upside there. On to Pembridge uh, which is another private investor uh, stock of focus I suppose periodically as well. Here we've got a bounce off the rising 50-day moving average at 6.8 pence which is normally a good signal and uh, while we remain above that looking towards that uh, broadening triangle top from November as high as 11 pence which would obviously retest the area of last uh, last month's peak as well. This stage early well below six pence, really delaying the upside scenario for Pembridge. On to a stock which has sort of kept on uh, coming back from its uh, recent peaks or its uh, March peak at through 18 pence. Surprising it fell back uh, so much in percentage terms. Uh, if you want to be sort of safe about it, you'd probably be wait waiting for an end of day close back above 10p, which was the uh, initial February support for the stock. Otherwise, a lot of bullish divergence here. So it does suggest that uh, uh, we've got a floor there at 8 pence and uh, that we will hopefully then be able to rally at least back towards June resistance 
around uh, 11 and a quarter pence over the course of July, but above 8 pence looking for at least an intermediate rebound with that uh, bullish divergence in the RSI window that we have. Stock which is rather more uh, on the front foot at the moment is uh, Ridgecrest. The uh, break of the, well, it's been consolidation after a bear trap below that uh, uh, the late t uh, 2020 support there. Uh, rising trend, ch trend channel now, floor the channel at uh, today's support at uh, 0.9 pence and above that. Looking to uh, fill the top of that gap there at 1.5 pence from April over the next few weeks and uh, ideally uh, before the end of June. Just a few stocks to go now. One is a slight lap of honour, let's say, with uh, Sarium was looking for uh, 9 pence, I think either yesterday or the day before. We managed to uh, uh, hit the top of the channel there right on the nose actually so the charting sort of uh, will really work there from the, that november resistance line that's at uh, that was at 9.5 pence so we just hit that and uh, came back looking for a possible retest of the 10 pence area although obviously with the rsi 94 it may be a bit ambitious but uh, uh, the uh, any dips towards uh, yesterday's peak around 7.2 pence currently regarded as a uh, an technical buying opportunity with early and end of day close back below it really suggesting that we won't uh, at least nudge the 10 pence 10 pence area over the near term on to tiziana which seems to be back after um extended uh, uh bear trap uh, type of uh, price action here we've got a rising trend channel uh, that's been in place since april top of the channel up towards a pound maybe if you're more cautious you'd say that the uh, the channel there was uh, uh, around uh, the top of the channel there around 90 pence at uh, the low 90s but either way i mean uh, it would be a decent upside if we hold above uh, the initial low this week at 73 pence above 73 pence looking towards 90 pence for tiziana at the moment and maybe that can be seen by the end of this month finishing off with uh, another stock which is a hit a trend line which seemed to be rather ambitious uh, here we've got Westminster Group, so hit that line there that I have saved from uh, yesterday's viewing of the stock. Uh, that was around the uh, 6.7 pence level, so we managed to hit that and come back a bit now. Be good to see the shares hold above 6 pence by yesterday's peak, and that might give them a chance of going to 7 and a 7 and a half over the course of the rest of June. But uh, still quite an achievement to hold the gap of yesterday and push forward does suggest a trend change for the shares. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.